Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Scania stand here at the 2013 Brisbane Truck Show. My name's Ian Butler and I'm the pre-sales technical support manager for uh, Scania here in Australia. Uh, we're just going to run through some of the features and benefits of the Scania Black Amber that we've bought here for the truck show this year. Um, this is our Scania uh, R730 truck, so our highest horsepower truck, um, with a special paint job and features from uh, Svepa in Sweden. Uh, just looking at the vehicle, and typical of the Scania truck, um, V8s uh, with a distinctive black grille and chrome features, uh, standard on all the vehicles. Um, this particular truck also has uh, adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning, uh, which are features that we can uh, specify in the truck nowadays. As well, a full lighting kit on the vehicle. We've now introduced uh, H7 headlights and uh, normal driving and fog lights as well. This is really a, just a step up from the H4 offering we had earlier. These also include integrated uh, LED daytime running lights as well. Uh, for this particular vehicle, uh, specialist uh, paint job with a carbon fibre finish, but of course uh, blacked out mirrors and uh, uh, driving lights in the sun visor. Moving around, of course. Scania, we're uh, always uh, conscious of access to the vehicle. So, three easy steps up into the cab. Um, two easy to get to grab handles, of course, uh, to put you up into the cab. We'll work our way down the side and have a look at the features out, outside. For this particular truck, we uh, have uh, powder coated uh, special uh, alloy wheels on this uh, particular vehicle. It's actually a limited edition truck. There's two in the country at this point. We can get some more if uh, people are interested, of course. Um, also, uh, we have uh, around uh, 1,030 litres of fuel on this truck and 75 litre at blue tank, which is a standard offering. The tr uh, engine itself, from an emission point of view, is uh, SCR based, so a catalytic type muffler to look after and make the vehicle comply to Euro 5. And typical for Australia of course, 6x4 uh, rear end with uh, Scania's single, redu single reduction uh, rear axles. Um, one thing we do have though is uh, 14 speed overdrive gearbox uh, quite a uh, low ratio in the rear end, so we're only looking at uh, 1,430 engine revs for 100 k's an hour, so we're, we're really trying to squeeze the best and uh, get the best fuel economy out of the vehicle. As you can see, back of the cab is nice and clean. Um, easy access from the uh, left-hand side as well, um, but nothing to get in the way. Makes it nice and easy to clean. Down the back of the vehicle here, so we get a little bit more room on the chassis. The batteries are actually mounted in the back of the frame, under this cover. So, helps with uh, weight distribution as well, but gives us some spare chassis space to get uh, fuel capacity on the truck. Just our normal uh, normal offering as far as tail lights and rear markers. Also on this truck is limited edition. Uh, we have full uh, checker plate, uh, wall plates as well, um, just to tidy everything up and keep it nice and covered. Um, and access here on the left hand side. Of course, to get, to get the room, side foil folds out of the way so you can get access uh, up onto the back of the truck. Anyway, we'll uh, head round to the driver's side and have a look in there. 
Uh, this has been a uh, quick walk around the Scania R730 here at the Brisbane Truck Show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, come on to the stand and have a look at it for yourself. Thank you.